All right, it looks like I should be live. Hello, all of you, all of you professional gamers out there in the world. I am Mega Amster, and finally, welcome back to another stream. You don't even want to know the kind of frustration I went through last night because I was ready to go. I was so hyped to stream part four of Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage and the Reignited Trilogy for Nintendo Switch, mind you. It's the Switch version, which also has its issues. Why is YouTube complaining that the audio stream's current bitrate is zero? That is not the current bitrate. Um, okay, can can you guys, can either of you or any of you watching, can you let me know if the audio sounds off to you in the chat? Um, if it sounds fine, you don't have to say anything, but if it just sounds off, just post just a quick thing in the chat. Um, no, you can hear me fine. I don't know why YouTube is giving me... YouTube, YouTube's also giving me crap on its side. Um, essentially, it's been a whole mess of things. I mean, first of all, Elgato audio is terrible sometimes. Like, literally, this was yesterday. I was I, I set this all up yesterday thinking I was actually going to stream it, and then it was all for nothing. Um, sometimes with the Elgato, I have the HD60S, not the Plus. I think the Plus is the one that does the 4K. I don't have the one that does that. Um, it just, for some, sometimes the audio sounds super staticky. And then, obviously, there's other times where I just got to unplug the capture card, the USB, and, uh, take the switch out of the dock, put it back in, and try to get the audio even just recording in the first place. Sometimes I have to restart the freaking computer. That's what solved the issue last night. I do not understand why um, Elgato is so finicky. I'm pretty sure it's the Elgato sound capture. There's something really buggy about it. Maybe it's just with my setup. I don't know. I have Windows 10. It's not like I don't have an incompatible version, so I don't know. Anyways, that was a pain. Once I got that fixed, the internet decided to just not be itself. Um... It was really weird. I assume it's working now. If there's any stuttering in the stream, please let me know during the stream in the chat. I'll keep the chat open in case. Um, I haven't dropped any frames yet now, fingers crossed. But even last time, uh, last Friday, when I was streaming the Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity DLC, I was dropping some frames frames here and there. There was definitely some stuttering. Um, but last night, I was just I was trying to stream right at 7, and my upload speed was literally 0. 0.5. I was like, what the hell? 0. 0.5 megabits per second. I was like... Is there something wrong with my modem? So, like, I tried, like, switching out coax cables, Ethernet ports. I tried directly, not even through uh, the router, just plugging in the modem directly into my computer, into the direct Ethernet socket that still didn't fix it. So I'm like, okay, either the modem's, like, somehow worn out or it's just the, the network. So I think it's the network because it's, it look, we're look good now. So I think it was just, for some reason, the Xfinity uh, network last night was really bad. And it seemed like it wasn't great um, earlier uh end of last week earlier this week too even this morning when i was uh, when i'm working from home i got disconnected from a team's call out of nowhere i don't know why um like it froze on me and then it just i had to disconnect and reconnect to my internet so that was really annoying but it looks like we're good for now so hopefully let's keep that up i'm excited to, to actually stream i know normally i would stream tuesdays and thursdays but i'm doing tonight and then friday night now because I figured, you know what, like, I dealt with so much crap yesterday, and now the internet's actually, like, working like it should be, so I'm gonna take advantage of this and stream Spyro Part 4 right now, because it's been a week and a half since I've even streamed Spyro, I think. Uh, I streamed Age of Calamity DLC last Friday. I will be streaming that again on this Friday night at 7pm. Um, probably 7pm. I'm a little late tonight just because I was just talking to my parents earlier on the phone, and I had to rush home after my jog to get my dinner together, and it was all just last minute. Um, so a little bit of delay there, but hey, that's okay. That means that means you got me till 9.30 or like around there, 9.15, 9.30-ish. But let's go ahead and get into that stream gameplay. Um, thank you for the person who subscribed to me, get me to 87. Thank you very much, person. <laughs> but uh, okay, let's, um, let's go ahead and hopefully you can hear the audio. Okay, like I said, any issues with the stream, let me know in the chat because I'm also, I'm so very, very, very extremely new to streaming. And I would appreciate any feedback if possible. Um, let's jump into Ripto's Rage. Are we gonna go in there? Let me pull up the actual chat so I'm not just looking at it through OBS because that's a pain in the butt. Oh, anyways, yeah. Life's been exciting the last, what, five days since I streamed? Yeah. Um, I just, the reason why I was late, because normally like I'll go on like a jog after work. I like to start work earlier in the morning when I'm working remote, and then like that way I can get off relatively earlier. So I have like a tiny bit of the afternoon still left over when I'm done um, with my full like full time work schedule. Um, I don't even know where the hell I was at, um, but the reason why I was late to uh, 
you know, go on my jog after work and then I was late to eat dinner was because of the Sonic 30th Symphony event that they just had. Um, that was, let me tell you, that was really good. If you're a Sonic fan and you have not watched that, do yourself a favor. I mean, I guess I should specify if you're a Sonic fan and you love the music. I assume every Sonic fan loves the music, but nah, I shouldn't assume that. Um, Sonic music is just so consistently good. Except for, like, Sonic Blast on the Game Gear was pretty bad. Sonic Chronicles Dark Brotherhood. I like the battle music. That's, like, the one exception. Otherwise, the rest of the songs are garbage. Um, there's probably a few games here and there. Like, I don't know if any of the Sonic Boom games even had that good of music. But, no, this was amazing. They had the, um, the orchestra come and do, like almost every mainline game they did the classic games they did a little bit of adventure um they skipped heroes on that one but they did like sonic they did sonic 06 like they th that soundtrack is amazing the game is yeah i know it's bad but the the soundtrack is just absolutely amazing um sonic unleashed though sonic unleashed was probably my favorite part of the orchestration um moss world was decent and then obviously colors was really good the nice thing about that is we actually got gameplay new gameplay for i think it was new for Sonic Colors Ultimate. Um, the remaster of Sonic Colors coming out in September. I think it's... I, I think it's early September. I could be wrong, though. Um, I gotta figure out where I'm going. Um, but yeah, so anyway, Sonic Colors Ultimate gameplay was great. Um, and then, hold on. I just, I need to figure out... So, I know last time I gained the climbing ability. Which is really good. That means I can go back and tackle some of these earlier levels. I think I want to do that now, though. And go back and actually do some of those. It's just, can I travel can i actually fast travel no way can i travel oh that's so nice there's no way maybe that wasn't spiral one i don't know i didn't use it if it the fast travel existed i want to know was this in the original spiral 2 on on the original playstation because fast travel like that i can imagine that make things so much easier so not nearly as much backtracking just literally Go back they don't they don't need a good explanation for this what unfortunately for us a mob of lizards just showed up and started uh gotta do this again okay sure pogo Pog. okay so what did i i know in glimmer i know there was an area i could climb up so that's what i'm trying to see or maybe maybe that was summer force i don't know i'm gonna go through the individual levels first i'm missing about 50 gems and an orb. So let's go ahead. It's been it's been a little bit since I played Spyro, so uh, it's been too long. I have other games I want to get to. Um, I didn't mention what game I wanted to stream next, but I have an idea of which one I want to do. Ooh. There we go. Can't run, can't dash into him. Um, I have an idea of what game I actually want to stream that's going to be after Spyro 2. And, I mean, I'm going to wrap up Age of Calamity DLC before I'm done with Spyro 2. I mean, and honestly, might be close. I'm guessing I'm going to need at least two more streams. Because um, if you tuned into my High Rewards Age of Calamity DLC stream Friday, I essentially, you have to unlock... Um, like, you know how they showed off, like, the, the new weapons for Link and Zelda, and then all this, obviously the playable Guardian. Um, you actually have to unlock all of that, so... I don't even really need that. I don't even think I need the power up actually just need to climb that ladder. Um, yeah, you actually have to unlock everything, so that definitely. Hey, get out of here! Let him just run around. That took me a bit, but can I climb now? I can. Look at that. Okay, there's our third. There's our third orb. What's up, dude? Oh, do I need the power up? I do need the power up. Okay. So that triggered it. Okay. Need this super fly power oh, right. Place. Okay. So what I need to do... Right. What I need to do is light up these gem lamps, but I need... I Thanks, dude. Um, I need... Okay, and I can get over there with that power. I assume that's some kind of flying power. I need to kill enough enemies first. Oh. Should that be enough? Maybe? No? Why not? Why didn't... Why didn't that one give me an orb, but the other guy did? That's what I'm not sure about. Um, let me see what other... Oh, wait. It looks like I activated it. No, okay. I guess it did give me a temp orb. But yeah, I'm uh, going back to the Sonic 30th. Hey. Yes, okay. Um, 
Sonic Colors Ultimate stuff, which was really cool. I mean, it made sense that they could advertise that there a bit. Um, and then, I mean, oh, like, um, I didn't realize um, Otani had, like, his own band. How many are there? Six? I'm literally just going to, like, no, no, no. Come on. How do I... How do I stop? There we go. I literally... I don't even care about the lamps, to be honest. I just want the gems now. And then I'll go after the lamps after. Hey, there's all the gems. Cool. Right, okay. I, I don't know if they run out after a certain amount of time, or they just they stay permanently lit when I light them. Um, yeah, no, but like Otani's band was really good. When they played Endless Possibilities, I I was tearing up. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, like, I, if you think that's overreacting, like, I'm not like I'm just gonna say like I've been a Sonic fan my entire life. Like, I grew up on Sonic games. Like, that was my childhood. Um, the adventure games mainly, you know, I was still, I was too young for, oh shit, can I make it? Oh no! Oh, do they run out of, no, 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 they don't, okay. I, I see where the last one is, I missed that last one. But, yeah, it was, it was just, and something about Unleashed, like, I really like Unleashed. The Werehog, I cannot, honestly, I tolerate it more than other people do. I understand it's not Sonic, so I'm like, okay, no, that's fair. Um... Okay, this should be the last one. There we go. There we go. But, like, the the daytime stages are so good, and the music is one of the best soundtracks in the... It's... You could say any soundtrack is almost the best soundtrack in Sonic. It's just, like... Oh, thank you. That should be 100% level complete right there. Um, but, yeah, it's just, like... It's honestly... It's... it's I don't know, I just, I just get things that I really get nostalgic for, I just like, I, I can't help but get a little teary at that. Um, and apparently it wasn't just me, a lot of other people on Twitter were as well. I, I, I was spamming Twitter a bit with all my reactions. Um, of course, Crush 40 was amazing. Um, that was, like, utterly fantastic. Um, especially when they started with Open Your Heart, that song is, that is the definition of my childhood. When they started off with Open Your Heart, I was like, okay, it's time, it's it's literally time to jam. Um, then they end, they ended it with Cityscape and Live and Learn, like, makes sense, but, like, at the same time, it's like, you know, if you're gonna cater to the adventure fans and the music, could you do it in the games too, please? Um, who knows what uh, the 2022 Sonic game is gonna do. Um, maybe that's gonna... Oh, Idle Springs. This is the one with the weird puzzle that I couldn't figure out. I'm going to see if I can figure it out now, but if not, I'm just going to say screw it and move on. Um, I've already watched it before, actually. Can I skip it? Okay. Yeah, I've, we've seen that before, so we don't need to watch it again. But, yeah, no, it was amazing. I mean, I am also just a huge fan of video game music and music in general. And so just seeing how much... And I put a tweet out about this. Like, I know other companies do... You know, they have stuff with the music. They have some occasional concerts, like, you know, the Zelda um, symphony events. They have those and things, and it's like, yeah, they do a little bit, but, like, Sega really... As, like... <laughs> you know, like, the, the quality of their games obviously is not great. Mainly, I'm, mainly Sonic games, I should say, because other Sega games are very good quality. Um, Sonic games are definitely hit or miss. But, like... They really go all in with the music. Like, they know that Sonic music slaps hard, and they just, like, embrace that. And so it's great to see, because they, I feel like it's at least at least every anniversary they have some kind of concert or musical event where they, or they highlight the music in that way, and that's just amazing to see. Um, and I wish more companies would follow suit, you know, at least more consistently, because video game music, I mean, music and audio... I'm also just such a snob and sucker for music and audio and games are just in general. Um, it's It makes such an impact on the experience of the game. Imagine this game right now. Imagine Spyro 2, just no audio, no music. Right, so like essentially if you muted it, if you muted the audio, the gameplay, and you're just running around and like, yeah, sure, you're running around still and it would be playable for sure. Um, actually, in some cases it would ruin the experience you might not hear like an enemy coming behind you or something like that hey stop hitting yourself it's okay stop it you know but like gotta figure out where that puzzle was i think it's farther ahead it's okay dude you can open the door take your time that's okay take your time but like i really really appreciate how much sega embraces that okay it's right over here i think so that's just that was just really great to see um 
for as inconsistent uh, inconsistent qualities the Sonic games are, it's just it was great to see that they embrace things like that. You know, things that normally companies wouldn't. So, how the hell do I do this? This is what I what I want to know. How the hell do I do this? Right, uh, I'm. I'm guessing I have to learn another ability. What am I missing in this level? I'm missing 80 gems and one orb. But I just, I don't know if I can do anything with this right now. I don't know where I would go to do that. You know, it's like there's, there's these switches here almost that I'm supposed to like press or something. And I just don't know. My fire breath doesn't do anything. It's not like I can charge at them. The only other thing I can think of is I'm missing some kind of ability that I need. Um, thanks, but I already got the talisman. But thank you. Um, but yeah, so no, that Sonic, that Sonic Symphony was like actually really great. Um, I don't want to go there yet, actually. Uh, not there. Um, that was just really great to see. Um, it was honestly better than I expected. It lasted two hours. It was fairly lengthy, and it was it had like an intermission and everything. It was pretty much like if you went to an actual like orchestra or concert like in person. It was pretty much the same thing, but it was so great. Like, the team behind that, I know, like, some of, like, the, the, the Sonic Team PR people, um, a lot of people were involved with the making of that. Um, and so, like, amazing job to everybody. Not that anybody would be watching this stream, but amazing job to everybody, everybody who put into that, because that was just a great event. I really enjoyed watching it, and it brought back a lot of memories for me, which is great. Um, and, yeah, I mean, today is Sonic's birthday, so... 30th birthday. I mean, I guess it's not really fitting that we're playing Spyro, but uh, <laughs> what are you going to do? I don't think I can even do anything with that puzzle. I'm not going to waste any more time, because I'm guessing I need some kind of different ability to even attempt that puzzle. Um, Let's go to Sunny Beach. I, okay, I definitely needed, yes, I definitely needed to climb some areas in Sunny Beach. I do remember that. Um, so let's go ahead and do that, and I can access some more gems and probably at least an orb or two. But yeah, what else has happened? In other news, I uh, an exciting news for myself. Um, possibly, it, pro it won't affect anything. Well, it might affect stuff I do here. Um, I put in my two weeks at my current job that I work remotely from, and I'm going to be starting a new position in just under three weeks. So I am very excited about that. Um, I can skip this. We've seen this already before. Um, I, I, I've been meaning to get a, a new opportunity. Just the, the, the industry that I'm in, like I, I do, so I do programming for them, right? I do software development. Um, it's just the application for it. Hi, just, Spyro. yeah, Prince Tortoise, yeah, we got it. We've been here before. You just don't remember. It's like all these characters get amnesia when I come here. It's like they don't remember at all that I was here before. But it's the, the industry that I'm in for development. Oh, hold up. I saw some gems up there. Good to know that some of the gems are up there. Um, I didn't, oh, what the hell? How do I, whoa, how do I get over there? Can I climb? Dude? No. Well, there's a lot of the gems. And I can't get over there. No, okay. I probably have to go. I have to climb up one of the ladders and get there somehow. It's gotta be that, but. Um. Hey. It'd be funny if you could actually, uh. <laughs> fire in the water. I don't know that would make sense, but it'd be funny if you could. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's just, you know, the industry that I'm in, in terms of development, just isn't the one I ever wanted to be in. Um, it was my first full-time job, like, professional career, so, like, I'm super grateful, you know, for being able to have that opportunity there. Um, oh. Oh, Mr. Chickenfish, dude. No. But... Yeah, it's just, I think it's time for me to move on. I've been looking for a little while, and yeah, it's just, it'll be a good experience for me. It's in a different city. Um, it's in a city that I actually want to be in, for obvious internet privacy reasons. I'm not saying exactly where. Um, but, no, I'm definitely, it's, I'm grateful for my current job. It, it was definitely awkward, you know, like, talking to my managers. I feel so bad, because my, my direct manager was on vacation. He just left on vacation. And the first day of his vacation, this other company sent me the offer letter. Like, I knew, I knew like, a few days prior that I was going to be getting this position. Uh, but they just sent me the offer letter, so I felt awful. You know, when I literally had to interrupt his vacation 
just for him to come on a call and say like, yeah, I wasn't really expecting you to uh, to do that, but uh, disappointed, but uh, wish you the best of luck. And I'm just like, ah. but yeah, it wasn't like, luckily, like I had a, a pretty good experience at this job. I mean, I'm going to be honest, it was, it was fairly dry and boring. Um, and definitely not where I wanted to end up in terms of development. But I'm glad I did it. Obviously, it started my professional career and like, especially during the pandemic, like if I hadn't taken that job, I would not have had a job. And so I'm super grateful. It honestly made me, why didn't I kill him? Does, does he take two fire breaths, I guess? But um, yeah, no, oh, I climbed the ladder over there, okay. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm super grateful for the job, for like the experience it gave me, for just being able to actually learn how to do like professional full-time the coding development it's honestly it helped me with learn my java skills a lot more um helped me learn about like infrastructure and stuff a lot more and it's just yeah it's been a great experience and, and like everybody there has been great it's just yeah I'm, i've been ready to move on for a little while <laughs> honestly it, it this is kind of sad to say but i feel like i've been ready to move on since i started full-time there it's just especially during the pandemic i'm just like you know it, everything's kind of dull and that didn't ever help things but with this new job i'm gonna be remote for at least until at least labor day um, so that's the only thing, so the only thing that could affect, I still, I should be able to stream, you know, and that's kind of what I really want to do, because, like, I'm not gonna lie, like, it takes a bit for me to, like, make a video, like, put an effort to do that, and to be honest, usually when I make, like, those actual separate videos, it's usually during work hours, because at my current job, like, I still have a decent amount of downtime, and it's like, I feel like I shouldn't, but I'm like, Okay, well, if I have a video idea, let's just do it now, record it now, and then don't even bother editing it because not only do I feel it, not feel like it, but I don't have time uh, with, the, with the job. But it's like, you know, I don't know. Um, yeah, it was just. Uh, no, I forget what the power up is, but it's not the right one. Yeah, it's just it's it's been. Uh, can I not go anywhere over here? more i'm trying to think of how i get to that other area too there might have been another climbing area uh in the the area i have to go further over to um because i don't see anything else over here but yeah no it's been it's been a pretty good experience a little boring but you know first time full-time job it's and being remote fully since march of last year it's been it's been quite draining i must say um but nah this will be good it's a good experience for me i'm i'm getting paid more which is great um but it's also, it's just the work I'm going to be doing is much more fulfilling. Um, you know, I'm actually going to be, my code will actually be helping people directly. Which is, um, which is kind of what I wanted. I wanted to kind of get more fulfillment from my, my career. And this is definitely a step in the right direction. So I'm super excited. Um, the only thing is it might mean like, you know, some sometimes I put out videos like um, saying, oh, why I like... You know, like, for example, my, uh, why I like Majora's Mask 3D more than Ocarina Time 3D, or, like, my Zelda vs. Metroid NES. I honestly wouldn't have made those videos if it wasn't for the remote, remote work that I do. And this job is going to be way more stressful. It's going to be way more involved. I'm going to have to start commuting into the office. But, um, yeah, so those videos are probably going to slow down. I mean, if I ever do unboxings, I don't even buy as much stuff anymore. Um, they've been slowing down already for the last couple of weeks, so it's like, if there's something I really want to talk about, I'll make a video, like, at night and do it, but because I'm going to be pretty engaged with this job, don't expect anything that, um, a lot, any videos like those, but those never got much views anyways. I'm getting more views through my live streams, and that's way easier for me to do, and it's something I can still do in after hours, like, after my full-time job, so I'm going to keep that up. Um, or I'm going to try to, at least, and should be good, but okay. Master Chef, that's so funny. Um, I have a friend whose name is Master Chef just because he was the one who cooked for us in college. Uh, that's so funny. One letter up for Master Chief. Your turtle friends will make a very good soup if I can catch them. You can try to save them if you like, but I'm feeling awfully hungry. Keep them out of the cauldron. Okay. Where are they, though? What? Oh, these guys, you mean. Okay, I thought... Go away. Go over there. Oh! No! Out of the cauldron. Go away. No! There's another turtle. Shit. Get out of there. Hey, get out of there. Get out of there. Hey! Stop it. Stop it. Is there another one, or is it just a three? I think it's just a three. 
Go away. Hey, go away. I think I'm just supposed to bring them over to uh, the water, right? They're supposed to hop in the water? No, they're just... Where am I supposed to bring them? Oh, they can go. Yeah, good, good, good. Into the water. Come on. Yeah, now it's just you. Is, are there any more spawning? No. Just you. I believe in you. Go on. There you go, buddy. Come on. There you go. So you saved a few turtles. There are more where those came from. Here, take this orb and go away. I'm so confused. Why? I shouldn't even question it. It's a talking dragon and talking animals. I shouldn't even question it. Cool. Is that all the orbs? I don't think so. Wow. Missing one more orb still. Turtle soup one. Oh, does he give me another? Do I get... One more time, but I die. Okay, so I get another orb. I suppose cool. y'all can try one more time, but I doubt you could do any better. What do these turtles do to you, man? Seriously, like, I understand if you like a certain food, but like, I shouldn't. Or I shouldn't even like try to debate that just because, like, you know, being someone who enjoys eating meat, uh, definitely, you know, kind of a what? They just hop right... Did you see that? I swear he just hopped right out of the pipe into the cauldron. No, come on. Let's try it again. Give it to me again. That was crazy. I swear he just hopped right out of that pipe. Okay. I gotta keep an eye... Oh, that's another one. Yeah, shit. No. Get out of there. Don't you dare hop into the cauldron. Any more? Yeah, there's a third one. Okay. Hey, don't know. I don't think so. Stay out of there. Hey, 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 hey. No. No. Away from the cauldron. Is there any more? Is it just three of them? No. Hey, hey, no. What? No. No. Get out of here. Do you want to hop in there? There's perfectly clean water over here. Come on, hop in the water. Get in there so I don't have to deal with you. There you go. Come on, get in there. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Are you serious? He was right there. Don't even with me. Don't even with me. Hey. Oh, wait, I can hit them? Oh, my God, that's so... No, 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 no. Oh, my God, this is so tough. This is so tough. You know what I think I have to do? I think... Hold on. I think I have to... If I bash them, it actually sends them flying. Let me try it. Hold on. No! Sh oh my god, I missed him. Are you serious? Get him in the water. There we go. That's what I need to do, I think. Nope. Nope. The water you go. Okay, that's gonna make it way easier. There we go. Much better. Hey, nope. No, no, no! Get out of there! I don't want you going in. Any more turtles? Shit, shit, shit. There we go. Oh, they're both in. Let's go. Is that it? No, we got more. Okay, now that I know I can actually charge the turtles, I didn't realize I could do that. Um, he might end up in there. There we go. Now that I know I can charge these guys, that's gonna make this much better. Uh, there's gotta be more. What? I don't hear him. Oh, shit. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't you dare. After all that work I put in, I was going to be pissed. Uh-oh. Oh, my. I keep missing the charge. There we go. Get them all in. Yeah, there we go. Now that you can, I know I can charge them. Yeah. Now I don't need it. Now you don't need it because you're going to starve. But then again, I shouldn't. It's the food chain. I shouldn't, uh, you know, get, like, really pissed at him for doing that. I wonder. No, those pipes aren't going to lead anywhere, right? No, you can't go in there. I need to figure out how to get to that earlier area. Can I? Oh, there's some gems in here. Cool. Good stuff. I need to figure out how to get to that earlier area where those gems were all blocked off because that's all I need. I still need, like, 
a lot of gems. Oh, wait, hold up. What's that pipe right there? Maybe that can lead me. No, that would be something. That would have been cool. You could actually go in that pipe and that's how you to get over there. Uh... So the question is, where am I supposed to go? Is there any way I can get to that earlier place? So I've done the chests, it looks like. I didn't need like any of the I didn't need the climbing ability to get those, but uh Right, there's not gonna be anything here. It's just that dude. I need to go back to the beginning, because I don't know. Rats, I don't know. I need to figure out how I'm actually supposed to like do this. I need to figure out how to get to that er uh, earlier area with all the gems. See if maybe there's an entrance over there that I'm somehow supposed to be able to access in order to get behind that gate where all those gems work. There were a lot of gems over there. Um, let me see. Oh, I'm an idiot. I can just literally go over here. How did I not notice this last time? Okay, there we go. Uh, can I use you as a platform? <laughs> nice. It's funny. I like that. Nah, you're done. Bye. Okay. I don't know how I didn't notice this before. This is, has to be the rest of the gems, so that's good. Get all those and get out of here. Lots of gems. Okay. This should be the rest of them, though. Yeah. There we go. 100% complete. There we go. Good stuff. Okay. Uh, what are the levels do I have to complete? Oh, okay. So, Aquaria Towers. One of my friends, um, who I guess, he, he's a big fan of this game. Um, he actually told me that there's some area farther up, like when you're underwater, that you can access, you know, once you actually fill the area with water. I really don't like Aquaria Towers, but I'm going to try it just to see, because I'm still missing all three orbs, and I'm missing almost over 100 gems. So, I'm going to try that. Um, Idle Springs, I think I need some kind of ability to do that. Um, but then from there, we're actually not a ton of other levels to 100%. Nice! I'll go back and do some Summer Forest after, but let me do... Let's jump into Aquarius Towers and try to 100% complete that, if I can. I do not... I did not like this level. This is probably my least favorite level so far. From what I remember, I think Spiral Part 2, I want to say, was, uh, not great. Ooh, look at that. Look, that is a sight to behold. OBS not dropping any frames. Yet, yeah, like, at all. No, Steam don't open up. I meant to click on the... Uh, YouTube page, okay. You've already seen it, still okay. Um, oh, yeah, let me just exit out of the Steam window. There we go. We're good. All good here. Okay, I do not like this map, so... Get out of here, you're done. Oh, the button, right, okay. Oh, yeah, look at that, there's some pipe up there. Yeah, good, good point, there's a... Hold up. Can I look here? There was some... With the, the angle that we were at, there was some pipe up there. Um, I guess what I want to know is how do I... Was There was another switch, right? Or is that switch, does that not show up until later? So that's the one I just hit. I don't see the other one yet. I think I have to... Okay, I have to get through more of the level first before I get the other switch. There's definitely a way to make the raise that water level higher, I'm pretty sure. Um. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, that actually might be it, I'm not sure. Get out of here, you're done. Let me go back and see if that's actually enough now. Or maybe it didn't even affect this area yet, I'm not even sure. Oh, okay, it didn't even affect the area yet. Okay. There's also got to be something with these number generators, I have to imagine. There's got to be some... Maybe one of the orbs is you have to, like, activate the generators in order or something like that. Um, let's see. Let me just do some exploring around a bit just to make sure. I'm probably going to need that power-up, so... Uh... Arr, 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 Mr. Krabs! I went bowling on a Saturday night. That was the first time I've been bowling in uh, almost a year and a half. <laughs> and, oh, I miss bowling, man. 
summer 2019 i went bowling like every other week with friends that was a that was a fun summer i was that was when i started this this current job that i'm leaving now um well it was an internship but like i had just started it and like vibes were good vibes were very good you know but then uh last summer and you just kind of ruined everything <laughs> not gonna lie but no i mean it was still like it was still life's been fairly enjoyable but you know now that everything is kind of like it's actually like safe to go do stuff now it's a weird feeling it really is um but it's it's nice it's nice that we can actually you know once you're fully vaccinated to go out and do stuff um get your vaccine if you haven't yet i'm just saying um okay cool. That guy's scary. I don't like Shocky Man over there. Oh, wait. Money bags. I already got your sub, dude. <laughs> I like how even if I don't, like, burn. What? Oh, do I have to even, like, I have to talk to him in order to use the sub? Okay. Uh, I can't believe he. I had to pay him in order to use this thing. Okay, yeah, and it doesn't. Okay. I can't. I, I, for some reason, I thought I remember it, like, shot missiles or something. No, it doesn't. It doesn't do any of that. Uh, but yeah, no, it, it's it's good that, you know, we're able to go back out in public. I definitely missed a lot of that. Even though, what? Oh, okay. It definitely does kick you out automatically. Because I remember that happened to me last time. And I was like, is that Joy-Con Drift? No, it's literally just... That's what the level, that's what the game does. It just kicks you out. Um, good to know. Um, I'm going to bash you in the head. Good. Um, okay. Pretty much all I can do here. Get you. Zap. Okay, now we're here. Good. So is there... Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. I didn't even notice that last time. Thank you, Jared. Thank you, Jared. Wow, this is a huge area. Holy crap. Okay, there we go. Here's, uh... Some of the stuff I was looking for. Lots of gems, it looks like, already, so cool. There's got to be at least one orb out here, too. It's going to take a while to collect all these gems out here, actually. Wow. Yeah, it's a huge area. If I notice this, I swear it's, like, literally, like, one... In every level that I didn't 100% complete, it's, like, one area that I just, like, didn't know I could access, and then it's just, like, ugh. But I don't even know if I would have been able to find this on my own, so... From one pro gamer to another... Thank you for the thank you for your service, dude. Thank you for your service. <laughs> okay, let me see where else can I go. Bash these little jobs over here. To be honest, they those remind me of like the magic refill jars from like Ocarina of Time Majora's Mask. They look exactly like those, just obviously bigger. Um I hope we're not missing any gems over there. Whoa, what is that? Oh, two orbs, okay. Snorkel indeed. Hunter! He just won't obey me. Hey, you're just how are you breathing? I'm not gonna question it. Great. Hop on his back. Manta ray. Oh, bubble rings. Remember, okay. He's brand new, so try not to get him dented or scratched up. That's dark. <laughs> That's straight up dark. Yeah, whatever you do, just try not to uh put a dent in my uh my new manta ray, okay? Oh, I'm following this guy. I just realized. Okay. This, you know, this reminds me exactly of, uh... Oh, I failed? Okay. You know what this... Oh, because I think I hit the side. Not that any of you watching, or, you know, watching the VOD after, would probably play this game. When I was a young kid, you know, we had an Xbox. It was OG Xbox. We had so many third-party games, a lot of licensed crap. Same thing on the Game Boy Advance. I had a lot of, like, licensed games like Monsters, Inc., Lion King, One of the Half, Madagascar... We had Finding Nemo for the Xbox. That segment where you're literally floating through those bubble rings and, like, on the Manta Ray. Finding Nemo must have directly taken that from this game. I don't literally. It's almost... The, the, the noise when the rings bond sounded, like, identical. I guarantee you they took heavy inspiration from this little mini game as part of that. That's wild. Okay. I just got a, like a random flashback to the past through that. That was crazy. Yeah, it's literally like the same thing. Okay, I think I did miss a ring earlier. Can I? Oh. 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 Oh, I don't like 
the control. A little too floaty almost. Okay, but it looks like I got them all. Yay. Well done. That's like, I, suppose I, owe you something for that. I mean, the sound effects are probably new in this version of the game, so I doubt it's, it's probably just a coincidence, but that concept of floating through the rings they spawn, that has to be taken from Spyro. Because obviously this Spyro 2 came out before um, that game. That game was like, I mean, the movie came out in 2003, so the game was probably the same year. Um, okay, more difficult course, I'll get the other one. Through the tougher course, okay. Like, that wasn't tough enough. I'm literally right next to the seahorse. I don't like that. 17? Oh, jeez. Oh! 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 Where? Oh my god, I can't... Okay, I somehow recovered. I think. Shit, 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 shit. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Okay, where are you? I completely... Oh my god. Yeah, I lost track. Pretty wild, huh? You suck! Thanks, Hunter. You're the best, dude. Okay, I need to really keep track of the seahorse because I completely lost track of it. Oh, there he is. There he is. Okay, okay. Okay, keep going. Down, down, down. Down, down, down. Okay, up, up, up. Down where? Oh! He goes under, doesn't he? Oh my god, that's it. That's the issue. And then the ring can disappear. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. No. Oh. I guess not. You've got real talent. Okay, cool. We got it. Like you. you can have the orb I found in my other flipper, too. Oh, you had an orb in both flippers. Cool. Now you couldn't just give me to those. I gotta prove myself. Okay, weirdo. Yeah, weirdo. Is this an enemy? Or are you uh, a dude I can talk to? Are you an NPC? You. I was gonna say. Six of my children and have hidden them in the top of each of these numbered towers. Yep, numbered towers. Explosives to blast open the tower doors. You borrow. Oh, okay. I was wondering last time if we could somehow use the power up or charge into the those doors in front of the tower. So this is how we're supposed to do it. Okay. <laughs> if you can make it to the top of the six numbered towers, my children will be safe. Reach the top of the towers. Each tower will open in order. Right. Okay. And he's going to give me that last orb. Guaranteed. Well, I shouldn't say guaranteed. That is the last orb, right? Also, sorry. I've been ripping ass the entire time. Hopefully you don't hear that. <laughs> the filter should take it out. But just, just wanted to let you all know. Okay. What the hell? Okay. So it looks like there's these, like, electric barriers. Oh, okay, so every time I rescue one, the barriers go away. Okay, is it going to show up again? No, it's done. Okay, cool. Uh, Tower 2 was over somewhere under here, right? Which one is it? Oh, right there. Alright, let's see what we got. Oh, shit! Okay. I gotta wait for those other ones to show up, I guess. Okay, the, okay I've gotta, I gotta go back down to get those guys. I remember seeing three through six, but I was like, you know, where's one and two? And now it just makes so much more sense. Um, did I go through that tunnel under here to get the gems yet? Or I guess it wasn't under there. I forget where it was. It was under one of these big, like, tower things. I'm just trying to remember where. I feel like it was this guy. Oh, yeah, it was. Okay. Yeah, I guess I already did. I'm still missing 60 gems, though, so that's a little weird. Um... How did I get over here before? Where's, like, the entrance back down? Is that it over there? I see something. Oh, right here. Okay. What's over there, then? Oh, I thought I saw something. Never mind. Okay. Tower 3. Here we go. Right in here. Hey, listen, dude. I already talked to you. Stop. Okay, was I not... Okay, maybe... Does that guy hurt me? Can I... Can I take him out? Can I charge into him? Yeah, I can. Okay, that was weird. Um, and Tower 4, was that just right over here, actually? Yeah, okay, they put them kind of together right there. That's nice. Oh, so close. I literally knew the timing was going to be this close, and I just barely didn't miss it. Okay, that's fine. 
Um, got only two more left, so that's good. Luckily, Spyro, the Spyro games so far don't seem like too, too challenging. Um, they've definitely got some challenge to them, no doubt. But actually, I think I can get there faster if I go this way. Yeah, well, they, uh, that's six. Maybe. Hey. Okay. I don't. I don't need that. I already got it. But thank you. I appreciate the uh, the the translucent, non-existent seashell. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Seahorse. Um, let's go. I, I'm guessing the fifth one's over here. I'm pretty sure it's somewhere over here, right? I think I remember seeing it in this area. Maybe not. Don't want to go in there because there's some bad shockies there. Is it this guy? Is this number five? Oh, yeah. It's got to be. Woo! He almost got me. There we go. Okay, the last one was in another area. I'm gonna bash those guys now. If I see any other uh, health pickups, I gotta go after those, but... Okay, and then there's still, yeah, 60 gems I gotta get. Okay, so let me go back. I really gotta figure out where those 60 gems are. Um, this is gonna be way faster to get there if I just head back this way. Tower number six right there. Perfect. Oh, that's scary. I don't like that. Oh, I see what's happening. Okay. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. You Yay. Now we can swim in peace. You can. I'm happy you can. I'm happy I was able to help. Please, take this one. There we go. That should be all three orbs. Right off the bat. Let's go. Thank you, Mr. King Seahorse person. Yep, there's all of them. But I'm still missing 60 gems. Where? Can I get this guy? Boom, there we go. Oh, maybe I have to go higher up in this area? Okay, yeah, I see some gems over here. I'll grab those. I see, oh, I see the, the jar over there. Okay. I got some gems that I can get, it looks like. There's one right there. I'm hoping this is all of them. I don't know where else they'd be. Oh, there we go. Just like that. That's all of them. Nicely done. Okay. There we go. 100% level complete there. Um, besides the puzzle in Idle Springs, that's all like the levels I can do. Um, but let me go explore Summer Forest again. I'm still missing about 50 gems and two orbs. So I'm going to try to go back and see if I can get them. Um... There was an area I could climb up, I do remember. So I'm going to try to get there. Nice. I don't know what it is, man. I don't know. What, what did I eat for dinner? Oh, you know, it was probably the boiled eggs. I rushed and made, like, a salad for dinner. I usually eat salads for lunch every day, but, like, I didn't have enough food to last me um, until the next time I'm going grocery shopping. And, like, I just I wanted to put together another salad, but, like, because it'd be quick, but, like, you know, make something more... Um, you know, different than what I usually make for salads. So I threw, I kind of made a, a kind of a cob salad and threw some uh, boiled eggs in there. That's a hundred percent what it is. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Speak of the devil. There's some gems down here. Beautiful. I was gonna say I know there was a ladder too I could climb before, but look at that. Okay, a little secret area down here. I wouldn't have known about if I haven't explored. Cool. Okay. Let me see where it takes me, actually. I have no idea. This is cool. I like exploring. I like discovering new things on my own in these games, you know? Fun. That's the whole point about these exploration games, right? So, let's see. Look at that! There's a whole other area. It almost... The way the water looks in this section, it, it almost looks like you can't even go under, so that's what threw me off for a bit. Um... Look at that. Oh, there's just an orb sitting there. Cool. <laughs> cool, I'll take it. How many gems did that put me at? I'm still missing 11. It's very specific. It makes me... You know what that makes me think? It makes me think like I missed one in like some like area that I shouldn't have. It was like in plain sight and I just like missed it somehow. I don't know. Um, hopefully. Hopefully. Um, the actual issue is that it's in that area where I can climb the ladder, which 
Um, actually, isn't it through here? I think it is. I can just double check, I guess, while I'm here and make sure I'm not seeing any other gems just straight about. But let me go check out that area with the ladder. I remember, um, Alora. Is her name Alora? Sorry, I, f I completely forget cause it's been a little while. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Alora. Um, she was standing there and she was like, you can climb this with the ladder. I'm like, no crap. Or, no, you can climb this when you get the climbing ability. I'm like, okay. Um, what's up, Hunter? Yeah, it's over here, right over here. Yeah, what's up, Alora? Shiny at the top of this wall. It's gotta be an orb. Climb up and get it? It's an orb, but uh, the question is, are there any gems up here? To be specific, 11. Oh, there very well could be. There we go. Ah, that might be 11. Let's see. Oh, come on. No way, I'm missing one gem. Oh god, I was worried this was gonna happen. Oh, now I'm gonna have to like search the entire hub world for it. Can I go here? No, okay. Are you serious? Oh, I'm just gonna have to literally swim around all over the place just to see where I'm missing a gem. Oh, that's great. That's just great, actually. Oh. Okay. Let me... I might as well try to look, because if I can find that last gem, that would be ideal, and I could just, you know, be done with this. I bet you it's honestly in, like, the water down here, or in the earlier section. I guarantee you it's hidden somewhere in the water. Just because, like, there are so many nooks and crannies that you could easily miss. Um, but let me check. If I found it quickly, that would be ideal, but let's see. Uh, if, I see, if anybody sees anything glimmering, let me know. <laughs> that's gonna be my last gem. Uh, man, come on. It's like I'm already halfway through the stream. I don't want the whole stream to be me trying to get everything else that I missed before. Anything over there? No. Could literally be anywhere. Ugh, wait, what was that? That was a frog. It could actually be, like, anywhere in this entire hub world, and I just, I don't know. I don't know. I can't swim in this area, right? No. Okay. It's too shallow. Thank you for the save. Um... Oh, this is gonna be so annoying. The hub worlds always feel bigger just because, like, most of the time, at least when I'm, when I'm doing it, I'm going through the level... Uh, you know, there's, like, stages in between, obviously, which take up most of the gameplay. Um, so it honestly, a lot of times, it feels like these hub worlds are bigger, but they're not... I mean, they're bigger than the Spyro 1 for sure, but they're not, like, huge. Um, that's a decent view. I might be able to get some insight, potentially, into where these gems could be. But I'm not seeing it over here. Let me check out the earlier area. Ugh, area. And if it's not over there, then, uh... Oh, Autumn Plains, look at that. Um, if it's not over here, then I'm just gonna assume it's in a later part of the stage. Um, but let's check it out. I just, I gotta keep checking around my corners and just see if it's around, because I just, I don't know where it could be. Uh, it could literally be anywhere. That's the one thing, probably one of the worst parts I will say about Spyro, with at least the gems, is like, sometimes it's difficult to see one hidden in like a tiny nook in the wall and you just like can't see it you know tom nook's just hiding that last gem from you and he's not willing to give it up um you thought he was obsessed about bells nah he's into gems now to be honest tom nook pretty much is money bag so that connection works you know better than i originally thought it would but come on oh this is fun on the hunt for the last gem it could literally be hiding anywhere maybe it was hiding in this area was that before that'd be annoying if I literally just missed it, that'd be so annoying. I'd be pissed. But I'm not seeing it. There it is! Ha-ha! Jonathan! You are begging my daughter! <laughs> we got it. Thank goodness. I was worried that was going to take so long. I'm so glad I found that. Okay. There it is. And look at that. It was right at the beginning of the whole world. Oh, good thing I went back. Okay. Awesome. Okay, so now... 49%. We're almost halfway done. Let's go. Um, the only one I haven't 100% complete is Idle Springs, so 
we can head back to Autumn Plains and maybe actually do a new level or two. So that'll be good. There's new content and old content here, you know? Like Sonic Generations. Everything I... Everything I, everything I talk about always brings up Sonic somehow, doesn't it? Every stream. Every stream. I can't help it. I'm sorry. I can't help it. I'm sorry. I just... Ugh. I, just, I gotta bring him up. Okay, so yeah, we're about halfway through. It's about an hour. So, yeah, I'll do some... Some new... Ooh, that was rough. You see that stuttering? That is not the stream. Well, I guess it could be the stream, but I'm seeing 0% frame drops. So that's great. Um, that was the game. Spiral Reignited Trilogy on Switch is not optimized terrifically well. Crash Insane Trilogy would, was, did a much better job, but I also think Spyro's, the Spyro games are just bigger in general, um, and they require more resources to to load and use. And I'll, honestly, like comparing the remakes, like on PC, like Spyro looks amazing. Um, like that at sixty frames, like running, you know, pretty smoothly with motion blur, like that is some good stuff. Um, okay, so where did this take me exactly? Oh, you know what? I think I remember this. Yeah, I remember this. Okay, I know where we are. Okay, okay, cool. We're in this area again. Okay. So, yeah, I think, I, I mean, at this point, I have to continue up this ladder, I think. Um, so, cool. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, you can even see. Look, I don't know if you can see on your end, but it definitely... Maybe that's just my my TV, because I have a 1080p. I talked about this on the Hyrule Warriors stream last time with my friend Orion when he was watching. Um... But yeah, the pixel quality, this is 1080p. It's an old TV. It's from like 2011. I borrowed it from my parents because they said they didn't want it. Um, it looks like this is where I actually left off with new stuff, but okay, that's good to know. Um, yeah, like I borrowed it from them and it's, it's an old TV. It's technically 1080p, but it's it's uh, it's pretty old and, uh, you know, not the most ideal. I'm looking into getting a 4K monitor or TV. I'm still debating. Um, supposedly when I was looking up, monitors have the better refresh rates, but even then, I don't know. Because then, I mean, the thing is, I'd still want some kind of speakers for the monitor. In that case, I'd be investing good speakers, too. So I'm still debating. I Maybe I'll get it next month. Um, it's funny, because the new job I'm going to is like, oh, we'll, re we'll reimburse up to $500 for uh, items for your work-from-home setup. And I'm like, are you going to pay for my monitor? No, they probably won't. What I do honestly want... Uh, for my work from home setup it's literally just the desk i'm sitting at now and i have the two monitors um and i hook up my laptop to it i want one of those things that like elevates all the stuff because right now <laughs> yeah i mean you can't see the setup from here end, obviously but like i have both of the tv which is to my left here and then the monitor which is what the, all the obs stuff is on when i'm looking at the webcam now and they're just lifted up on like giant stacks of lined paper like those are my stands right now and to be honest, I'd love to have, like, a razor. Ooh, candy. See? I'm like the kid. Literally, candy just, like, gets me. That's a trap. It's a trap! What? Wait, so there are humans in Spyro's world? What? That raises all sorts of questions. But, no, I do want some kind of, like, those desk things that, like, elevate your stuff. Um, Not just for, like, you know, positioning. I mean, it would be good for positioning, like, the TV and the... Uh, the monitors at the right uh, height, you know, it's, it's good to have an eye level that way, because I definitely, I don't know if you noticed, but I have a little bit of a hunch just um, when I'm in this chair. I was hoping this chair, when I bought it back in October of last year, would help me with my posture, and I feel like it has a little bit, but not really. Um, so maybe I need, a be I need a better chair at some point. This one likes to lower down on its own occasionally, too. Um, but I do want that to also, like, so occasionally, like, I like to get up and stretch and, like, stand, like, even if I'm in a meeting at work, like, like a, a call at work, I want to, like, stand and, you know, stretch a bit. And uh, that would kind of make like a makeshift standing desk kind of thing. Oh, Hansel and Gretel. Handle and Gretel, though. That's funny. Block the way. They're on a spy mission? I love it. This is funny. I, lo I really... I know I've said this in a previous Spiral streams before, but I really like... How each level has its own unique theme. Oh, the camel's an enemy. Oh, I don't want to burn the camel. He was just tied up there. Poor thing. I just, I love how each world has a unique theme. Um, Spiral 1, each world, you know, had like its own theme. But this, in this case, each level does. Um, raise the flag! Oh, that opens the gate. Cool. 
Um, I think it opens that gate right there. Hey. Do they have crossbows? Oh, that's scary. What? Hey. I don't want to burn the camel, but he's an enemy, apparently. I have to. Okay, the snakes are... It's weird. It's almost like an Arabian theme. It's weird. It's an Arabian theme, but then it's, yeah, Hansel and Gretel, but it's Handel and Greta. That's funny. Like the old nursery rhyme. Okay. So I see gems up on the walls, but I don't think I can get to those yet, so I'll have to come back later. Or could I have... No, I can't reach that. I'll come back later. How many? Okay. 400 gems, two orbs. Gotcha. I wonder how many more uh, abilities I have to unlock, you know? Because the climbing abilities seem to be a pretty uh, major thing, but then also... I think that puzzle in Idle Springs that I just don't know how to do, uh, that's got to be tied to Hunter. Um, some kind of ability I get later. I would imagine. The monkeys have escaped from the Not the monkeys! Zoo, and I've been sent here to catch from the Avalar Zoo! <laughs> me. Give me. Can you help me out? Sorry, I just... Monkeys are great. I love monkey memes, especially. Like, if you look up any kind of monkey meme compilations on YouTube, just... They're so fascinating. Literally, like, as humans, we are not that far. Like... Obviously, like, apes evolved over thousands of years to evolve into humans, but, like, it's just so... It's it's kind of crazy to see how smart animals can be. Like, we think of ourselves as humans, right? Because we, you know, we, like, we have some of the most... I don't know if we have the most complicated brains. We have some of the most. I mean, obviously, we know we're learning our own language and stuff, but, I mean, so do all these other animals. Um, but, like, I'm not sure about any of that anatomy or biology, but it's just, it's fascinating because we sometimes, at least, and personally, I'll think this, and I'm sure other people do too, where it's like, oh, you know, these animals are cute. Oh, they're just, you know, they're almost like pets, but no, they're super smart. It's crazy. I think I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I heard somewhere that dolphins are the smartest animals or the smartest mammals. I could be wrong on that, but all right. They're throwing coconuts at you. It's like the enemies Great. and Sonic too. Got to bring up Sonic again. <laughs> I'll be able to catch them. Like Emerald Hill Zone with the Sonic 2 enemies, yeah. Charge the tree before I get hit. Okay, so hold up. So go to a tree. I'm confused about how this is supposed to work. Oh, I see. Okay. So you're trying to... You think he would try to catch the, uh, the coconuts? Hey. But no, he's literally trying to catch the monkeys. I love it, that's funny. Get in his barrel, monkey. Monkey. This is funny, I love this. Oh no! Wow, that, that had a lot of knockback, I'm surprised. Monkey. I got you, Hunter, don't worry, dude. You'll have all those monkeys in your barrel in no time. I used to really like monkeys in a barrel as a kid. The toy, when you, where you chain the monkey links together. I probably just liked it because of the scene in Toy Story. That was a fun time. I think it's the first Toy Story where they have the monkeys in a barrel chain. I could be wrong, though. I don't remember fully. Monkey. Get back in there. Alright, last monkey. Get the monkey in the barrel. There you go. But now the monkeys are out of the barrel. Okay. That's funny. Oh, Hunter. Hunter, Hunter. Such a lovable goof. I wonder, is Hunter going to be in Spyro 3? I'm going to guess no, but possibly. I don't think Alora is. I don't know, I could be wrong. Because I know you have like the different playable characters in Spyro 3. Like there's the kangaroo, there's the penguin army dude. I think there might be one other one. Um, I, like I said, I haven't played it yet. I just know from... Uh, one of my friends is a pretty big Spyro fan. So he's told me a little bit of... He, he, he said Spyro 3 is his personal favorite. Um, I've heard a lot of people say Spyro 2 is their favorite, and I'm enjoying it so far. I can see why. Uh, but honestly, give Spyro 1 some credit. I really, I did enjoy my time with Spyro 1 when I played it, what, a month ago? I think it was like a month ago I played through it. Yeah, I really enjoyed my time with it. Um, same thing with Crash 1. Okay, Spyro 1 is probably a better game than Crash 1. But Crash 1 was still, it, it was pretty difficult. It was difficult, but like... It was it was a solid challenge. It was, it was it was a fun. It was well, I'm not gonna say fun, but it was fairly fun for the most part. There were definitely some troublesome moments here and there, um, but overall, it was still 
an enjoyable experience with Crash 1. My favorite... I don't know. I mean, it's a toss-up between 2 and 3. I feel like with, with Book Spyro and Crash, the first games aren't received as well. But, I mean, you know, they kick off the franchises, right, that they represent. And they both, I think, came around. I think Crash was slightly before Spyro, but I could be wrong on that. Uh, and, yeah, like... Okay, there's got to be a way I can destroy that. Oh, you know what? Whatever power-up is in this stage. I already have... Okay, there's only two orbs. This is called Scorch. I think... Wow, I ran right into that. I think I mentioned this in the uh, a previous stream, but like some of these levels that just have like one word uh, names. Spiral 1, I'm so used to them. Uh, oh shit, I don't know where you came from. I'm so used to these uh, one name, one word names for these stages. Oh, that was, I almost got hit by that. Oh, wow, there's so many of these guys. It's scary. Um, I'm used to them being boss stages. Like in Spiral 1, all the one. The one word name stages are uh, boss stages, so when I got these like Scorch and uh, what was the earlier one? Colossus, right? Um, it's just weird to me because it feels like it should be uh, like a boss stage, but it's not. I will take that, thank you. I'm gonna get all these gems first. I know I could hit the switch, but I just put the switch. I'm gonna get these gems. Okay. What else can I do? There's some gems over there that I missed. Okay, let me get those. Nice. Extra lives are always appreciated. I think overall I died more. Like, I lost more lives in Spiral 1 compared to this game. I think I've only lost a life, like, once or twice. So far. That might change. I don't know. I remember I lost a lot of lives in the, uh... The, the not not the crypto fight the uh, the nasty Nork fight. I remember losing a lot of lives in that section. That that was a tough battle. Okay, this little area I can go down here. Whoa, with some poisonous stuff in there. I wonder if there's a way. It doesn't look like I can get anything down there, but maybe the power for the. Oh wow! What the hell? Wow! That's gonna blow up all these, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> Look at all the gems! It's raining gems! Hallelujah! Wow, that was fun. How many gems am I at now? 395, not bad. Still got a ways to go? Okay. Oh, this is- okay, this is the beginning of the stage. Right, I was trying to figure out how to get over here before. Okay. Wasn't there another area off to the side? But I guess I can't get there yet. Um, okay. Okie day! Did I hit that switch? I don't even think I did, did I? I don't think I- or did I raise that flag? Oh, I did. Okay, for some reason I thought I didn't. Okay, I think we're good. Let's continue onto this drawbridge. Oh, I guess that makes sense. That drawbridge wasn't down before I hit the, uh... To switch to raise the flag. These guys are scary. They just kind of sit there and like wait for me to go closer so they can attack me. I'm like, okay, dude. Okay, you do you. Oh, these those guys are scary though. <coughs> Excuse me. Still having this like stupid throat issue. I don't know what it is. I got blood work done. I got a chest x-ray. They said all that looks fine. I got the camera up the nose and it made me feel like, you know, like when you get water up your nose. It felt like that, but like a solid like 30 seconds to a minute. Um, oh, is this the talisman? I'm guessing. Probably. Spyro, you make a great secret agent. Now Handel and I can complete our mission. By the way, you can have this talisman. I stole it when the soldiers weren't looking. Nice. I like how these little kids are, like, these secret agents. I mean, the other thing is, we don't know if they're little kids. Like, we don't even know if they're human. We don't know. You know, they could be some secret aliens that are actually, like, thousands of years old. It's possible. I mean, look at, uh... Was it Naoi? Was that her name in Fire Emblem Awakening? The... The Manakeet? Who was, like, looked like she was literally, like, 12? And yet she was romanceable, and that was really weird. Uh... <laughs> Yeah. Hey, Spyro, 
Oh, this handle. Flags to prove our secret mission was successful, but the flag keeper keeps stealing them. If you can knock the flag keeper down, you could bring the flags back. My okay. My secret decoder ring says that this power-up thing should help you. Shoot the flag keeper off of the flagpole. Oh, it's a um, it's, it's the projectile-based flame weapon. I'm pretty sure. Return handle to flags. Okay. Okie day. Let me get these gems first, though. Okay, so where's... But where's the flag keeper? I'm confused. Where is he? My ug Ugly sister. Wow, that's not very nice. Shoot the flag keeper off of the flagpole. So is it just all the flags that I raised? I gotta go take those out? Oh, I see. These guys. Okay. Get out of here. Oh, that's funny. They're using the, uh... I see what they're doing. Okay. So, you want that flag, eh, dragon? Well, two can he is terrifying. He looks like a... He looks like a toad on steroids or something. Like, look at his face. Avoid the flag keeper's bombs. Okay. What? You won't be... So what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to avoid his little, uh... Whoa, what the hell? I don't like that. No, I... Mm -hmm. It's like I, I can't... I can't go there. I don't know. Throw another one. Whoa. These are weird missions. Ah, uh, okay. I'm getting into the groove it though, it's all good. Oh good, okay. I was about to say he's about to corner me right there. Great, but there are still two flags out there. Still two more, handle. I'll try to get those flags for ya. Okay, where am I supposed to go? Shit. I lost track where I'm supposed to go. Um, and yeah, it's not gonna give me enough time for the power up, okay. Uh, I gotta go back around just to get the power up. I wasted too much time! Time's up, SpongeBob. Oh, did anybody see the, um, there it is. I'm supposed to go forward, of course. Um, there's some crossover, like, collaboration they're doing with, uh, Scooby Doo and Courage the Cowardly Dog, which is kind of crazy, because, like, when's the last time they've done anything with Courage the Cowardly Dog? It's been, like, forever since then. Um,. There's one of them right there. It's been a very long time since that. Uh, so that was honestly kind of uh, crazy that they were even doing a collaboration with them. But I guess it makes sense. I was talking to my friend who's a pretty big Courage fan. Like, I feel like Courage is pretty dark, usually. Or, like, kind of almost psychological horror in a way with its with its um, horror. But, like... Oh! Oh my god, I don't like that. Throw your bombs. So I guess I literally just have to keep following him, yeah. This is weird. I just, yeah, I just, I gotta keep following him around like this. It's really weird. There we go. Flag number two. Now I gotta go all the way back near the beginning with the power up and get that last flag. Just one more flag. But yeah, I mean, I'm sure it'll be a good collab, the Scooby Doo Courage Cowardly Dog thing, but um, curious to see how it turns out. I don't know if I'll watch it myself. I'm not a huge. I was never a big Courage or. I, I was really never into Scooby Doo, to be quite honest. I, I never. I didn't really watch a lot of the Hanna Barbera. Um, cartoons growing up. I was more of a Nickelodeon kid. But I understand why people watch them. I mean, honestly, they were just way before my time, too, to be quite honest. I would occasionally watch, like, Tom and Jerry if it was on Cartoon Network. But, like, it was still a little bit before my time, so... You won't get my last flag so easily, Purple Beast. Are you sure, Bob? Why are there, like, 50 people named Bob in this game? Oh, duh, because it's toys for Bob! 
That makes sense! Bob, are these all your toys? Take your toy back to the carpet. Bob, you gotta take your toy back to the magic carpet. Stop. Take your toy back to the carpet. Take it back! That is a great movie. I love Kindergarten Cop. That is such a good movie. Oh! Oh! That scared me. That could have ended terribly. That honestly, I'm trying to debate. That might be my favorite. Well, no, okay. So, like, about a year ago, I think I started it. Um, oh, God, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. There we go. Um, I almost screwed that up, too. About a year ago, I did, or I started a, um, a pretty big uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger movie marathon. Where, like, every weekend I would just watch one, usually one. Occasionally I'd binge a couple. Um, you know, and I would watch some, uh, cool, there we go, last one. A lot of these Arnold Schwarzenegger movies, both, like, his action ones and his comedy ones. Just a bunch of them. And out of the ones I watched, Kindergarten Cop was probably my favorite, but, um... Guilty pleasure of mine. Favorite Christmas movie is Jingle All the Way with Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's also the kid. I don't know the actor's name, but the kid who plays uh, the younger version of Anakin in um, Star Wars Episode One: Phantom Menace. Um, I just... That is such a guilty pleasure movie for me. And Sinbad is the, the bad guy, and it's just really funny. Um, and, and it's funny, because a lot of it's about, like, you know, commercialism and how, like, kind of messed up it is when you think about it. Um, there we go. That should should hopefully be the rest of the gems. Yeah, there we go. 100% level complete. That's what we like to see. But yeah, no, that's probably my favorite Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. Terminator movies. <coughs> oh, sorry. I, got, I, I apologize ahead of time if I got to uh, cough every now and then. It's just like whatever this third issue is, it's just really annoying. Um, we're done with here, so let's get out of here. But... Um, in terms of his action movies, Terminator 2 is very good. Um, some of the other Terminator movies weren't that good. I didn't watch the most recent one, Dark Fate, I think it was. Um, but, oh no, you gotta use your secret agent powers. What the heck is going on? The power of friendship! So they secretly are, like, demon kids. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> but... Yeah, no, like, this this movie, I don't know, I just, I, I love Jingle all the way. I like, his comedy movies are actually, like, literally so funny. He just, he works as a comedy actor, I don't know, but his action movies are pretty decent. Um, I really do like Total Recall. Um, the Running Man was very good. Um, honestly, like, what's it called? Oh, Predator was good. What am I thinking of? Oh, what's it called? What's, what is it called? I can't even... This is so bad that I can't even think of what it's called. The, um... It's one of his more... It's probably one of his older movies. Um, where... I think, like, he's, like, a former, like, spy. Or, like, not a former spy. No, that's, that's a different movie. There's so many. Um, he's, like, a former, like, military officer, I think. And, like, these other guys... Um, like, they try to enlist him again, and, like, they kidnap his daughter or something, and he has to go and, like, take them all out. I completely... I'm blanking on the name. I'm actually so mad. I'm blanking on the Fracture Hills. Okay. Is that all the levels in this hub world, actually? Am I done? No, I'm only 14%. What do you have to say, oh, Professor? Spyro, hello. If I think of the name, I'll let you know. With this door, but I think some orb power might unstick it. Oh, okay. I see you've collected a good number For some of reason, the name there. Contra comes to mind. I know it's not Contra. <laughs> oh, cool. Unlock some more of the hub world, too. There we go. Okay. We're not done yet. We still got the Magna... Magna... The Magma Cone. I, I read that as, like, ma Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> It's probably because, like, I'm finally having an in-person graduation uh, commencement ceremony in a month, and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> That's funny. But Magma Cone. Let's try this level next. Um, think of the name. Commando. Commando. That's it. Um, I, it was... It, like, wasn't that... It was okay. I like some of the quotes in it, like where he says, um, You're a funny guy, Sully. I like you. So I'm going to kill you last. Like, that's, like... I, I say that on, like, a weekly basis. Um, I used to watch, like, they had, like, this 
clip of like the best 150 Arnold Schwarzenegger quotes and they're just rapid fire back to back and I love that. Um, his movies are very quotable. He is such the writing for his movies is so funny. I love it. Oh, we got we got satyrs. Is this uh is this Narnia? Uh oh. Nice. That's what you get for ignoring the volcano. <laughs> He's like, yeah, whatever. Screw this guy. He doesn't care that his friend's dead. He's gonna kill him next week anyways. Okay. We got, okay, three orbs again this time. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Let's get some of these gems. How far am I in? About an hour and a half, okay. So let me at least do this level and then see where we're at for time after that. Oh, they're all Irish, cool. Because the stupid earth shapers set off the volcano. The Earth Shapers. Looney the Fawn. Who are the Earth Shapers? Interesting. Okay. You know, I wasn't here for the party. I was actually here to um, steal all of your treasure, which is actually technically my treasure, and uh, get these orbs and the talismans so, you know, I can uh, stop Ripto. You know, the guy who's threatening your entire world. But, you know, you're just throwing a party. You don't really seem to care. Um, so I'm going to do all your work for you. And go from there. Oh, I don't like these big looking dudes. Oh, what the heck? Interesting. So I need to push them. Oh, this guy's fast. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? I see you. Get over here. Okay. Those guys are gonna run really fast. Gotcha. Hey. These guys run so fast, I'm surprised. Where'd you go? There you are. Get out of here. I am glad they got rid of those stupid dragon egg dudes from Spiral 1. Those guys were tough, because they were really fast. Um, they were tough to keep up with. Rats. Ah! No. What? What? Dude, don't even. Don't even with me. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, so there's got to be a way to get up to those higher platforms. Um, I can climb up that ladder I see there, but where else can I go? Ah, uh, do I risk going kind of in that area? It looks kind of, uh, I can't walk here, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, I don't like how that looks. I am going to avoid it for now because I don't want to get hurt. I already have pretty low health as it is, so let me go up this ladder for now and then we'll figure that out. No, no, come on, come on, back off. There we go. Okay. More jemmies, yay. But yeah, so essentially, I'm, I'm gonna try to be streaming, assuming the internet connection, like the upload speed stays okay, and the network doesn't screw up. I honestly thought it was like my modem was slowly dying, and I was just like, uh, like it hasn't even been full five months of use in this modem. I haven't even been streaming for that long overall, so it's like it just would have been weird, but that's what I thought. Um, but I think it was just the network. Um, but I'm gonna be streaming every other day for the next like week or over a week, I think. I'm gonna be doing Hyrule Warrior Teacher Calamity DLC again um, Friday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, starting then. I'll be doing that then, and then, um, I'll be doing, I think, I'll, I think what I'll do is I'll do this Sunday. I actually, because I, I worked out some plans with friends to do stuff Saturday night, because then on Sunday, I will stream more Spyro 2, and then next Tuesday, I'll stream, I'm guessing, I'm guessing I'm going to need two more uh, parts for that Hive of Warriors live stream. I don't think I can finish it all next time. Um, so that's probably going to be a, a, at least a three-parter series. Um, hi, can you get up the ladder? Thank you. There we go. There you go, Spyro. I believe in you the entire time, definitely. Um, so I'm guessing next Tuesday, hopefully I can wrap up the Hyper Warriors DLC then. And then the Thursday, I'll do more Spyro 2. I don't know how much longer Spyro 2 is going to take. I think we're just barely over halfway. Um, I'll have to check... You know, once once I'm done with the uh, the live stream for the night, when I'm calling it a night with the live stream. Hey, I'm gonna avoid you for now. I'm just getting the the gems. Thank you. Um, so don't worry. Where is the? Uh, hey, you get over here. 
Get out of here. Is he over here? No, I don't think so. I think I have to... There we go. Nice swing. I gotta hit those guys because they're so big I can't take them out myself. Oh! Gotcha. This was an area I could go to. I didn't even realize. Okay. Don't slide off. There we go. Good thing I saw that from above. Okay. I was just worried about risking this jump right here. I was like, am I going to be able to make it? But okay. Good thing I went down there. I'll get some more health, thank you. But, yeah, I don't know how much longer Spyro 2 is going to take. Hopefully, I'm hoping not too much longer after, you know, all that streaming shenanigans. I'm guessing it's going to be at least six parts total, right? Because this is part four. It's going to take me at least two more parts after this, I'm guessing. And then from there, I don't know. Uh, how am I? About halfway. Okay. In gems, at least. But then, essentially, I'll just have to see... Um, I Like I said, I have an idea for the next game that I want to uh, get him in the spot. There we go. Oh! Ugh, that doesn't look fun, but thank you. Oh, I thought the hammer was going to stay the neck to use it as a platform, but never mind. I can go up there. That's cool. Um, they're just happy that they're murdering all these guys. I mean, yeah, they, they did, you know, erupt your volcano or whatever, so that I, I can understand how you'd be a little mad and want to kill them all. But, uh, maybe that's going a little too far. Unless they're actually bad guys, but... I don't know, I can't even- I can't even tell! Because, like, we had those other two levels in a previous stream, where it was like... In one level, we helped one side, and in one level, we helped the other, so I don't really know if there is a good or bad, necessarily. Uh-oh! This boy! This boy over here, I swear, every time I see money bags, I'm like, Oh, great, what do I own now? What's he gonna teach me? With this move, it, you will learn how to breathe! And it's going to cost you 10,000 gems. Like, I wouldn't be surprised. It isn't my best customer. My, I'm your only customer. Take you to the volcano. You can have unlimited use of the elevator for a one-time fee of only a few gems. It's going to be 5,000. Watch. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I shot it over a little bit. Simply step onto the elevator and it will take you to the bottom. When you want to come back up, just step on it again. I guarantee you it was functional, even if I didn't give him the 200 gems. But you know what? I'm not going to complain because I want to progress. Oh, sh ah, I almost fell off. That would have been bad. But that's interesting, though. So literally, it blocks your progression. I understand it's supposed to be somewhat satirical, but it's also just annoying. I'm not going to lie. Like, there's no way they didn't implement money bags and do, like, you know what would really aggravate the player? Having to pay all these gems. And, like, I guess it forces you to get them, but still, or at least some of them, I should say, but it's still, I don't know, it's a little annoying. Oh, that, oh, I don't like that. Okay. What if I just can't see one of these rocks falling down? Okay, I'm trying to see. Oh, like I barely saw that one. I almost missed that. I almost like, oh! <laughs> Did you see that? Like, how was I supposed to know? You know? Okay. So, looks like, okay. Oh, there's something up there. Okay. And there's ladders up here. Oh. I'm gonna wait just in case. I don't wanna take the risk. Go, Spyro! No, 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 go, Spyro! Oh! That was scary. Okay, so I gotta climb up these ladders while avoiding these meteors that are falling down. Okay. So that's especially scary, because, like... How can I avoid that? Oh, I see. Okay, back and forth. Yep, I got you. Luckily, we can do this. <laughs> that was so funny. You saw that, right? I jumped up and then the meteor came right down on me. It didn't hit me, luckily, the closer detection didn't register, but here's a talisman I was saving for the party later. I think you deserve it more. Thanks, Bippo. You're a real friend. Okie day. Cool. Okay. 
Now, we're not going to return home because I still have to get another 100 gems and 3 orbs. So let me see if I can figure out something down there. Oh, it looks like I can destroy those jars with the power up. Okay. Don't tell me I didn't kill enough enemies. I swear I did. Oh, okay. It's, it's active. I was about to say. I was about to say. It was definitely destroyed a lot of enemies already. It would be if those nasty lava monsters hadn't stolen our hats. What? They stole your hats too? Okay, so they are monsters. Cool. Yeah, you need your party hats. Shoot down lava monsters. Okay. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Oh, so you know what? Those like, uh... What? Yo, hold up. Hold, hold the phone. Hold the phone. Wow. How do I... Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Hold up. I'm so confused. Because, like, I feel like... Are they somehow, like... Oh, hold up. What? Wait, wait, wait. I'm so confused. What? I... S oh, okay. This is a gem. I assume that just, like, breathing fire on them would have, uh... Oh, my God. Jeez. Why doesn't that... I'm so confused. Why doesn't that, uh... I'm so very confused. Why doesn't that, uh... What? Wait... What the hell? I'm genuinely so confused. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. No, don't want to go there, that's for sure. I assume I just breathe fire on them and knock them down, but no. What? Can I? No, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Why did it not register me hitting them? Is it am I supposed to defeat them another way? I don't know. That was weird. Very strange. Hey, Spyro! You're just in time for the part. Shoot down the lava monsters. Okay. How? Oh! Hold on, hold on. I see those floating rocks. That's probably what it is. I see. Okay. Do I have to... Can I gulp it? How can I spit that? That's so funny. How can I spit that out? I'm so... I don't even know. There we go. Okay. That makes sense now. Get him dead! Fire! Okay. Oh, uh, no! No! Hey, 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 hey. That's not, that's not very nice. That was not nice at all. Give me the rock and boom. There we go. I don't know what those jars do. I'm guessing they're just gems? Yeah, I need the power up again. There's, oh, there's 12 total. Wow, it's a lot. Okay. Um, cool, I see some rocks over here. Oh, I didn't even see the guy right there. Okay. Oops. And I see some more areas I can actually go through to uh, get some gems and stuff. So cool. Circle back around here. Oh, God. He's right there. Ah! Looks like there's one more guy down here, and then I'm gonna go back and get the power up again. There should be three more up there somewhere. Let me get this power up again, just because it's not gonna last me now. I'm st oh no! Woo! No! No, 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 no! There we go. Okay. Hello, Mr. Party Hat Man. Okay, there were some in here. Oh, jeez, okay. Um, are there any more? This guy right here. Cool. There's one at the other entrance, and then there's one up here. Hello, sir! Whee! I love Spyro's face like when he gets hit and falls down. Okay, come on. Where? Just in case, I'm not gonna risk it. Getting the power up again. Okay. Uh, I think he was actually right here, wasn't it? There we go. <laughs> it worked. Spyro, you saved the party! Here, this got mixed in with the cheese balls. Ah, uh, cheese balls are messy, but I haven't had cheese balls forever. Cheese balls are good. 
Thank you, Goatman. I think that's only one of the gems, right? Yeah, okay. But I did see several areas I could go into to actually get some gems. So let me... Also, what the hell are these balloons? Are they gems? Are they... I think they are? Oh, this is... Wait. Yeah, this is the elevator. Okay. So hold up. They are definitely... Okay, they are gems. That's what I was wondering. So let me see. There's got to be more jars. That can't be it. Right? Maybe it is it. I don't know. I think I went in there. I could be wrong. I have no idea. Um, what was the area I was at before that was lower? Oh, was, you know what? It was probably that. Is there anything through here? I'm still missing two orbs, so there's another area I'm not getting at right now. It's not there. I'm guessing I access it through here, though. Just makes sense. Oh, that's okay, yeah. That's that in place. Um, I don't think I've been in here. Or is this just the same area I was at? It's probably the same area I was at, wasn't it? But the waterfall? Yeah, the lava waterfall. Okay, cool. Oh, wait, wait, what's up here, though? I literally just went in a circle. <laughs> I was like, oh, what's up here? This looks new. No, it's not. Okay. I'm not going to fall for it again. I almost just fell for it again. Oh, man. Okay. So, the question is, where the hell do I go from here? Right? Because, okay, that's that area. I know that. I'm not going to go in there again. Not doing it again. Hmm. What's this? Okay, this is the elevator. I'm just wondering, is it like... Am I missing an area over here? Right, because I'm still missing... Let me get rid of that. I'm still missing two gems. I'm probably not going to do another level after this. Yeah, I'm already at an hour 45 for this live stream. Yeah, I'm not going to... I'm going to... Try to figure out how to 100% complete this level and then call it a day there. I could have missed something earlier. Let me see. So, I mean, one of the orbs was there, so it does make me think that there'll be another area over here. Oh, cool. Extra lives. That's good. I will... Oh, wow. A lot of them. Wow. Wow. Okay. I feel like there's got to be another area with orbs around. Oh, I see something over there. Okay, there's one of those jars over there. Rant. Can I get there from over here is the question. There we go. That'll give me some of those gems. But still missing orbs, so that's the big, the big, uh, the big question. That brings me to 353. Let me keep looking around, see what I can find. I think this is near the beginning of the level, right? It's literally like I'm not finding, like, one area. I think there's a whole area of the level I'm missing right now. With someone who's going to offer me two orbs at that. That was the starting area. Yeah, so I'm back at the start. I went through there. Hmm. I'm missing something. I just got to figure out what. How do I get higher up? Oh, the, the ladder, right. They hide this ladder off to the side so you can't even see it. There we go. Is that the music, or is that just some weird-ass noise? Like, what the hell? I think it's the music, but it just sounds super weird. Okay. Hey. Have I gone up that ladder? Is that what I did to get to the next area? It must have been, right? Yeah, it must have been. Okay. Oh, let me get back up here. 
Oh, I almost fell off. Sheesh. Okay. I don't see anything out here, though. I'm glad I came back for that uh, extra, like, the, the, the jar that had, like, the dynamite tied to it. But I don't think I missed anything. Woo! I, I genuinely don't know. Okay, and at least I don't have to climb up that stupid section all over again. That was annoying. Um, one and done, thank you. So I'm still missing 50 gems. I gotta figure out where the hell it is. It's gotta be somewhere. I'm just missing something. Is this an entrance anywhere? No. Huh. Yeah, that's where that's the elevator access right there. That's that entrance that I kept going in over and over again, that little tunnel. But otherwise I don't see anything. If I go higher up, it just brings me to the top of the volcano. There's nothing up here, right? Yeah, it won't even let me go that high up. Ugh, man. That'd be annoying if I can't figure this out now. I just, I, I'm so close, you know? I've got to be missing something. I just don't know if it's in this area or if it's in the previous area. You know, I just, I just legitimately don't know. Where's the bridge? Can I get up to the bridge again? I'm gonna die, aren't I? Yay! Okay, where's the uh, the glidey thing? There we go. I, what I kind of want to do is take the power up to the previous area and see if maybe I can explore that way. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, but I'm gonna try it. Where is the opening? Right there, okay. At the moment, I don't see anywhere else over here with gems or anything I can explore, so it's like, I don't... I don't know what I'm missing, to be quite honest. Um... Let me see if I can go up this way. I don't know if it's going to let me. Okay, I guess i got to use the elevator. I was trying to see if I could just fly up the shaft and use the power up that way, but... I guess not. Okay. Oh, what? Nope, I guess it doesn't let you. It gets rid of the power up as soon as you go this way. Okay, good to know. So the question is, where the hell is everything else? I'm missing access to some area. I just... I don't know how to proceed any further I genuinely don't know to be honest it's probably in that other area just because it's so confusing and everything looks the same I guarantee you it's something over there what is up there anything is that anything up there no that's super annoying what am I at I'm gonna 40 uh, an hour 48 Ugh, jeez. Maybe I should just come back to this at a later time and see if I can beat it then. Because I just, I do not know. I don't want to look up a guide. I still don't want to look up a guide. I don't, I don't count Jared as a guide. Ugh, <laughs> uh, man. I'm just trying to see if maybe somehow I can find this one area I'm looking for. You know, where I could find... It's some hidden alcove. Or not even hidden. It just might be some area of the level that I haven't explored yet and I just didn't notice it before. I just don't know. I genuinely don't know. There's nothing over here. Yeah. I feel like it has to be in that previous area. It's the only thing that makes sense. Like in the in the later area, I mean. That's the literally the only thing. There wasn't an opening in this tower, right? I think I would have noticed it. I see legitimately nothing out here. Let me try. I'm going to look one last time in this, outer, in this uh, other area. And if I can't find anything there, I'm just going to say screw it and end the stream here. Because I just... I don't want to spend this much time just searching for something that I'm just not going to find right now. So... Ah, I almost ran right into lava. That would have been great. Can't go in there. Oh, I almost fell. I feel like there's some area I'm just not seeing, like, an entrance to, and I'm supposed to go there or something. I don't know. What about here? Can I open that? That almost looks like it should be an entrance. Like, almost like there's some kind of switch or something I'm supposed to press. I'm going to go back in here. Is there a secret entrance off to the side here or something? No. Rants. 
I just... That looks like a door that can open, is the thing. Right there. That looks like a door that should be able to open. Right? I just don't... I don't think shooting a fireball at it would do anything. I could always try, I suppose, but... I don't think it will do anything. Shooting it at that won't do anything either. I just genuinely do not know. Right, that does look suspicious, doesn't it? So, like, you think maybe, but... What the... No, no, no. No, Spyro. Spyro, no. Oh, yeah, what about under that bridge, actually? Is there anything over here? No. Okay, I was trying to see. No! Ah! No, no, get in the, get in the sparkly rip thing. Oh, that was close. I just, I don't see any other entrances anywhere around here. Shooting a fall. Are you serious? Oh my God. Hold on. Hold up. Hold up. There we go. There you go, Spyro, buddy. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to give up. I just, I cannot. Oh, I almost did it again. Uh, sometimes controlling Spyro is not the most intuitive, I will say. This isn't going to work, but let me try it anyways. Yeah, it was worth a shot. <laughs> I don't know how I didn't get hit there. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. What is that? No. Just some... Uh, I feel like that is a door that should be able to open. It really looks like it, so... I don't know, though. I can't really seem to find uh, a way to do it. Okay. Yeah. I mean, doesn't I'm not going to make any progress like this, it looks like, so... I think I'm just going to... Call it quits here and all. What am I missing? There's a whole area I'm missing. I'm missing just about 50 gems and two orbs. And I have no idea where those NPCs even are. So, I think I'm just going to call it quits here. Let me go back to the hub world for now and I'll try again next time. I mean, at least now, like, I still have to go back to Idle Springs at some point to beat that, to try that puzzle. Maybe there's something else I'm missing, too. I don't know. I'll try coming back to this magma cone stage at some point and trying that. Nice. They were having a party. Someone died, though. There's your typical party. Someone has to die, right? Just kidding. I hope not. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. So, that's just we're just about at two hours. It's already 9.30. Jeez, I guess I did start late, right? I started half an hour late. Um, yeah, so actually, oh, technically that's right. Okay, technically the time I have there is starting when I actually hit live. I usually start live a few minutes early at least in OBS, so that's why I'm seeing that. But either way, I still think I'm probably just going to end it here. Um, what do we have for percent complete? 55, okay, not bad. Um, like I said, I've got at least two more parts, probably three. It's probably going to be at least three. Um, but I'll also, I'm going to be switching off with, um, I'll be switching off with, um, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity DLC for now, at least. I feel like I'm almost done. I don't know why it only says 16% not on planes, because I feel like I'm almost done with, um, all the stages in this hub world. There's not too many more. Nice! Um, but yeah, I went back and, yeah, I'm able to 100% complete most of these earlier levels, and then, uh, it's just, yeah, the Idle Springs with that one puzzle now, and then Magma Cone. I'll have to go back and do that at some point. Um, but yeah, anyways, I think that is going to do it for this stream of Spyro 2. It's great to play this again. Like I said, it's been, a, like, a, what, a week and a half? About, I think. I don't, even, I don't even remember when the last time I streamed was. It might have been, like, almost two weeks ago. Like, that weekend. I don't remember for sure, but... It's been a little bit, so it was nice to come back to it and actually play some more. Because I'm enjoying the game. I really am. Um, Spyro 1 was pretty fun, but I'm liking Spyro 2 even more. So it's it's going pretty well. So thank you all so much for watching. If you did watch live or if you're watching the VOD after, obviously, I appreciate you watching that. I know most people, I think, do watch the VOD after. Um, so if you do watch it after, I greatly appreciate that. I actually did start... Um, the YouTube's compression algorithm is awful, right? Um but at like at the moment it's my only way to like get some of that footage back um so what i actually I, what i'm going to st start doing i originally didn't have enough space on my pc i don't have a ton of memory on my, on my new desktop honestly um to store to simultaneously stream and record videos um so i was able to i still had my like terabyte uh hard drive buried 
somewhere like in a bunch of chords and i hooked that up to the pc so i'm going to be recording into there and that should be plenty of space um not with any spyro or hyrule warriors but i think starting with the next game i want to stream um i feel like i mentioned it accidentally if i did oh well you know but <laughs> if i didn't i'm not going to say it anyways just in case um for the next game i stream starting with that i'm actually i think i'm going to record and live stream at the same time I, I did download my previous streams just because I, I think I might want to put together some highlight, uh, some highlights together, and that might be like occasional editing here and there. I, I don't know how consistently I'd put those out, but uh, mainly the streams going forward, and like I said, with this new job, it's going to be a lot more involved, and I'm actually going to have to start, not for at least uh, like two and a half months or so, I want to have to start going back into the office at least a little bit. It's going to be a hybrid schedule later, but fully remote for now. Uh, but I honestly wouldn't expect many like legit videos not like i'm doing this as a career right it's a hobby and i enjoy doing it and hey like if i like build a community of people together to talk about games like this and like you know like even just during these streams like that's why i encourage people with the chat obviously if you don't feel comfortable with the chat you know don't i i i really heavily relate to that when it comes to streams i'm not a huge i don't watch a ton of stream, like live streams because of the fact that um just like I, I don't really interact with chat at all i just i feel like Especially when there's a lot of people in the community. It's just like there's so many and your voice kind of gets drowned out. So I completely understand if, you know, you're not comfortable in chat. That is totally fine by me. You know, quote unquote lurkers, I still don't like that term, are always welcome. As well as engagement in chat. So um, if it is, if it is like an audio or video issue, though, I really do appreciate if you say something in the chat just so I know. Um, but either way, it's, it's watch however you want, live, after, interact or not in the chat. Leave comments if you want, like and subscribe if you want i'm saying you have to i'm just doing this for fun i'm doing this to engage with other people and it's it's kind of my way of playing games it's like at least streams are easy it's like i just normally would take the time to play games anyways like i'm okay i'll just record myself doing it and put it on the internet um but yeah anyways i kind of went off on a tangent there but yeah i do it like either way no matter how you watch my videos my streams i do appreciate it either either way uh also a thing ahead of time i'll, I'll talk about this later too um, I believe it's on Monday at like 10 a.m. Eastern, which is like 7 Pacific. I don't know why it's so early, but um, there'll be the next Sakurai Presents for Kazuya in Smash Ultimate. Um, I definitely cannot watch that live because I will be at work at 10 a.m., but I'm going to try to do a recording of myself reacting to it later. Not a live stream, um, just a recording of myself reacting to it like after the fact. Um, I'll try not to watch anything ahead of time for spoilers, and we'll see what the meat costumes show up, but I'm excited for that, so... Expect that reaction next Monday night. I'll probably be uploading it. Um, and then in the meantime, I'll be streaming Hyper Warriors again for the DLC. The first wave of DLC. The Pulse will be Ancients. will be Friday night at 7 p.m. Eastern. And then Sunday night, I'll resume with Spyro 2. We'll go from there. So thank you all again so much for watching. And I got to end these. I'm so bad. I know I drag it out. I, I stall with ending so much. I just enjoy talking to you all so much, clearly. Um, but anyways, enjoy the rest of your night. Enjoy um, some more of your week. I will see you Friday night if you're interested for Hyper Warriors. Otherwise, more Spyro Sunday night, and we'll go from there. So in the meantime, take care of yourselves. Make sure you just just meet your needs, you know? Whatever you, whatever you got to do to make sure that you are happy, and then you can help others, you know? I don't know why. I just, <laughs> I just got super wholesome there. Anyways, take care. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I will see you all later. See ya.